talk about the difference between layouts and indicator templates. Two really important concepts when getting started on TradingView. So your layouts are going to be a place where you save, store, and manage the design, look, and feel of your chart. So on this chart, for example, we kind of have this blue background. It's a gradient, and you have your red and green candles. But let's go ahead and just make some quick changes to this. So we are going to make it so these, see these, gr these gray lines here? We're going to make these go away. And we're also going to make the horizontal lines go away. And now we have just this chart. Now we're going to click this button here to save it. And you can see this cloud icon indicates that we've saved this chart layout. It's now saved to your profile. You will never lose this design. It is saved and hosted and secured by trading view. Now, what you could also do is you could rename this. So we could call this maybe, let's just call it blue layout. So it's a blue layout, click save. And now you see up here, blue layout. So this is the layout that we've saved. And if we go to different tickers, this layout will follow us. So now we have this layout following us wherever we go. Does not matter the asset class, does not matter the symbol it will follow you around. Let's click Save. So now, if we click this drop-down, we're going to also be able to do things like Load Chart Layout. So if we click Load Chart Layout, what we see here are all the chart layouts that we've saved. And if you click, it will instantly open up a chart layout that you've saved. Now, that might have looked confusing, so let us walk you through it one more time. Load Chart Layout. Here are some chart layouts that we've recently created. As you can see, we have one called Default Layout. So we're going to go ahead and click this. And what this is, is the default trading view layout. We just want to keep this saved at all times. Basically, we can come here whenever ever we want this very simple, beautiful, easy to use layout. We're going to exit out of this. Now, what you may have also noticed in our layouts is we actually have one called Drawing Only. That's what we clicked in the first example. And this layout is literally only for drawing. So when we click this, this is a layout we created that's totally blank. And it's blank because maybe maybe we want to use this actually for diagram diagrams. You know, if we're trying to draw some sort of uh, explanation or maybe we're just using it to brainstorm ideas. For example, uh, let's just call this, you know, I don't know, workflow. And we're just kind of want to walk through our trader workflow. So let's type in trader workflow here. And now, you know, let's just say this is just one example here. And we're going to do this here and here. And what we're doing is we're just kind of creating our own little workflow. So, you know, we want to remember to, you know, moving averages. So we're just making our own layout. This is just an example of how you could draw on the chart. Obviously, we want it more beautiful than this. And then we could even add here, say, you know, Bollinger Bands. And this is sort of our steps. So we want to do moving averages, Bollinger Bands. And let's actually make it so that this chart is easier to see. So we'll go a darker yellow here. And then we could sort of write to ourselves, you know, step one step two, step three, and we could say uh, only buy at the bottom of the bands, which is, you know, always check the length. So little reminders like that. Now what we've done is we've created this layout here, totally different from our previous layouts. That's the point of sh us showing you this. We have this default layout that we can always come back to. We now also have this workflow layout, and we even have this blue chart layout. So we hope this is making sense that we're showing you the way you can save and load layouts. So let's go ahead and exit some of these previous layouts, and now we're good to go. And what we want to show you now is how to add a new layout. So you could click New Chart Layout, and it's going to give you this new look. And as we showed you recently, you could make this chart layout into anything that you really need. So we can use this mountain chart style rather than candles. Let's go to settings. How about background 
we can have fun and pick the colors of our choice. Oh, this is vert line, so let's actually go up here. Let's do gradient. We want to make a really cool chart with different colors, make it unique. You probably have never seen a chart like this, but that's part of the fun. You can make these charts yourselves. And now we're going to go up here. It says unnamed, so we're going to click rename, and we're just going to say, you know, we'll call this just interesting background chart. Click save. And now what you'll notice is up here we have interesting background chart and it's been saved and here it is. So now if we go to this drop down and we click load chart layout, here are all of the chart layouts now we've saved with this new chart added. Interesting background chart. Okay, let's go back to our original chart here, which is this one right here. And one quick reminder that we're going to say about this is that when you save these layouts, it will save your drawings. So this is a chart of GC1, which is Gold Futures. And if we were to draw this line across the chart and then click Save, and then if we went to say Apple, and if we take this trend line and draw it across the chart and then click Save, it's now saved that. And let's even go to BTC USD and take this trend line and just draw another one. These are just examples. And then click Save. What we're doing is we're saving all of these to this layout. So watch how cool this is. We'll go back to Apple. There's our trend line. We'll go back to GC1 gold, click this, there's our trend line. So it's saving all of our drawings across every chart and we have the layout here. You know, you could even draw, say, just these circles highlighting these tops. And then of course you could add text and you could say top one. And then let's do top two here. So this would be top two. And this next one would be top three and maybe we were writing this because it's making lower high lower high click save now watch if we go back to apple there's the trend line we wrote but now let's go back to gold and here's the text that we had really quick examples we're not trying to make the charts perfectly beautiful just showing you how to get started with these layouts and how to save them now super important is that when you do load a new chart layout so let's actually go to this Apple layout, for example. Look at the trend line we have on this chart titled blue layout. Well, if we go to manage chart layouts, click load chart layout, and select our default, guess what? The trend line is gone. Gone. It's because it is a completely different chart. This default layout that we've saved is not going to have the same drawings as our blue layout or our interesting background chart layout. That's because each of these are different layouts saved completely separately. So let's go back to this blue layout. Here's the trend line. We can go back to the gold futures as we showed you. Remember, remember these drawings. We can go back to Bitcoin. Remember these, this trend line. However, if we go to a different chart layout, we're just going to say it one more time, like this default layout, none of these drawings come with us. So you could say BTC USD. There's no drawing here. What is important, though, about this example is the different ways you can use this. Yes, you can use these layouts, say, for your color scheme, the look and the feel. This is default layout. We have the blue layout drawing only. You can also start to use these in a little more of an advanced way. For example, what you could do is you could use this as a quick example, as a way to show off or to save different drawings that you do. So in this default layout, for example, you could say, this is my Bitcoin chart and we're going to rename this and we're going to call this Fibonacci drawing layout, save. And now what we'll do is on this chart specifically, we'll be doing Fibonacci retracements. And then on our other chart, the blue chart, we're going to now rename this and call this blue layout trend lines only. So now what we're doing is creating a layout specifically for trend lines. Let's go to load chart layout, blue layout trend lines only. And we've also created a layout only for Fibonacci. 
and you can go back and forth between the two with just clicks as as fast as you need let's make sure on this Fibonacci chart we click save so let's try this again very important by the way auto save happens every five minutes but if you want to make it instantaneous always click the save button super important let's go to load let's go to Fibonacci and there's our Fibonacci saved so these are uh, some really important basic tips to getting you started in all the different ways you can use your chart layouts by the way if you click load chart layout you'll see some quick tips under here and reminders about what the chart is so you control the name of it you'll also see the last symbol that you saved it on the time frame and the date and time so this is all saved so that you can always remember the layout that you saved by the way you can click these favorite icons and the layouts will pop to the top so now your favorites will always be at the top of this layout menu and so what you can do is you can for example say new chart layout and we're just going to show you really quick let's change some things here let's go to background solid let's just make it a blue background another blue one let's rename and actually why don't we say you know price range and this is hard to see with the blue background so for this example we're actually going to change this to make this easier to follow there we go there's our price range we're just measuring a price range rename this is called pink price range layout save and then let's do new chart layout so we're just going to make a bunch of chart layouts just to really demonstrate how you can organize your charts with the favorite function let's now do pitchfork let's just draw a pitchfork here we'll go over these tools in separate videos please just follow along for now remember this is not buy or sell recommendations we're really just trying to show you how you can use your chart layouts in the best possible way okay rename green pitchfork layout save now it's saved okay now let's exit this and let's go back to this blue layout now let's go to load chart layout check it out we now have all of the layouts we saved look here's the green pitchfork layout there's the pitchfork let's go to load chart layout here's the pink price range layout here it is with the price range and in addition to all of this you can see how the favorites are still at the top and if we uncheck them they move back uncheck them so watch this now pinks at the top greens at the top so if you have favorite layouts that you never want to lose because this menu might get to 10 20 30 layouts well you can start to use these favorite icons to keep them pinned at the top watch Fibonacci now pinned at the top another really helpful tip to loading your layouts is that yes you can move them all around the chart so if you're doing research while wanting to you know keep your layout menu open you can do that see it's sitting here to the left you can also click this button to sort the layout by name make it alphabetical a to z z to a you can also do date modified oldest being the first or date modified newest being the first so you can also sort in any of these ways this is super helpful if you have 10 20 30 40 layouts in here and you can also search for keywords green pitchfork layout so that's another really important thing as you organize your layouts make sure that you are using keywords that you will remember or that you can easily search for because now you can search for example drawing drawing only Fibonacci drawing super important this search box can become your best friend as you build your process or work with others or if you're teaching or training with others well having a layout that's super easy to navigate is so important because you can search for keywords right here and get back to any layout that you previously wanted to see or save so that is the basics of your layouts now a few more really quick things we'd like to show you if you turn on sharing it says everyone with the link can view and copy this layout so now you can go up to your browser it's not shown on this video but we have a link 
And what we'll do is place some text here. See this link? We can now go and share this link, and anyone who opens this link can see this exact chart. So you can share this chart, or you can turn it off to make it unshareable. Totally up to you. Let's delete this. Now let's go back to this drop down and you can make a copy of an exact layout. So let's actually dive into that really quickly to do some more detail here. If we go to this Fibonacci drawing layout, well, we have this Fibonacci drawing, but let's say we want to make something similar, but still save this. We can make a copy, copy chart layout, and let's call this, we're going to do Fibonacci circle drawing layout. And we'll even write copy just to make sure, click save. And now we have the exact chart copied. And if you look at the names, you'll see copy. And this is the original. Now we're going to delete this. And instead of doing a retracement, we might do say, how about a Fibonacci extension here? So extension off a certain point. And then we'll click save. And now we have a copy of the Fibonacci drawing chart layout, but this one is now for a different Fibonacci to tool. And we actually didn't use a circle, we actually used the trend extension. So click save. Let's make sure we change this spelling error. Extension, save, it's saving. Load chart layout, now check it out. Fibonacci trend extension drawing layout copy we wrote that because it's a copy of this which is not the extension just the regular Fibonacci tool we click it and there it is and remember one important thing is that as you save your layouts keep in mind that you want to make sure you name your layouts as clearly as possible because what you'll find is that you're going to be going from symbol to symbol to symbol you're going to be going through tons of watch lists you're going to be making all sorts of unique charts. You'll go from stocks to cryptocurrencies all the way over to futures and econ data. And you're going to lose track of some of the drawings that you made on previous charts. So you want to be clear about where these drawings are by naming them correctly and also knowing that you are analyzing specific assets under certain layouts so for example, you know when you want to see that trend line, it's always going to be under the layout that you saved it under, trend lines only. This is going to be all of the charts that you've marked up with trend lines only. This is going to be all of the charts that you marked up with Fibonacci only. So we hope that this helped you get started and really understand the layouts, the power of them, and all of the functionality that you have. Remember, this video has nothing to do with buy or sell recommendations. We do not do that. We are driven to build a platform for all traders and investors. We just hope videos like this can help you get started, perform better research, and follow markets no matter where you are in the world. So we really appreciate everyone watching this video. Please ask any questions or comments below. This is video one of two about these, about these subjects. We're going to go over indicator templates in the next video, which are equally powerful and super important to use. And if you can use your indicator templates, see all the templates we have saved here, alongside your chart layouts, you're going to have just access to data, charts, and a platform that will help you perform research that really is hard to master or find anywhere else. So we'll get into that in the next video. Thank you for watching. And if you just want to skip ahead, open up your chart and click indicator templates to dive in to learn for yourself. But more importantly, make sure you are saving your layouts in a beautiful way and make sure that you understand all of the functionality here. So thanks for watching and have a great day.